tutorial on how to play Burning by Sam Smith or in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'll be teaching you the chord progression that's played throughout the entire song. It is all bar chords, so if you're a beginner, make sure you understand that. We are going to start out here with a D sharp minor. So your index is going to bar the 6th fret, 5th string down. Middle finger is going to be on the 7th fret of the B string. Ring finger on the 8th fret of the D. Pinky right under on the 8th fret of the G. We're going to pick our A, G, B, and high E string. And then pick the high E string again. Next we're going to slide to a C sharp major chord. So you're going to bar your 4th fret with your index finger, 5th string down and your ring finger is going to bar the D, G, and the B strings. And we're going to pick the D, G, and the B strings. Next you're going to go to an F sharp major chord. So your index finger is going to bar the 2nd fret, all 6 strings. Middle finger is going to be on the 3rd fret of the G, ring finger on the 4th fret of the A, pinky right under on the 4th fret of the D. And you can pick the E, G, and the B strings. G again. Next we're going to slide up to a G sharp minor. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to pick your E, G, and your B string, and then your G again. So the G sharp minor is the same as the F sharp major, except for you drop your middle finger and you slide up to the fourth fret with your index finger, and then you're ringing your pinky around the six frets. Alright, so that's the first part of the um, chord progression. So that same chord is going to stay there, but what you're going to notice is that the last chord is going to start changing. So for this one it's G sharp minor, but the next time we come around it's going to go back to C sharp major. And then when we do it again, we're going to alternate and we're going to go back to our G sharp minor. And for the last part of the chord progression, one thing changes here. So instead of going back to a C sharp or a G sharp minor, now we're going to go and finish with a B sus2. So your index finger is going to bar the 2nd fret, 5th string down. Ring finger is going to be on the 4th fret of the D, pinky right under on the 4th fret of the G. And that's it. That's the chord progression that is played throughout the entire song. So I'm going to go ahead and play through that once for you. So it's going to sound like this. D sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp major, G sharp minor, D sharp, C sharp, F sharp, back to C sharp. F sharp major, back to your G sharp minor, back to the beginning. F sharp major, and this is where your B sus comes in. And then it goes right back into it. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I went through that pretty quickly. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, or if you want to see me do a tutorial for another song that's not out there, go ahead and comment below. Thank you for watching.